Hello there, everyone. I am Wisdom, and I'm here to give you good knowledge and good understanding. Guys, today I'm giving you good knowledge and good understanding for an app named Malwarebytes. I already have it downloaded and installed. For those who don't have this app downloaded, all you have to do is head to your Google Play Store, iOS Store, and in the search column, search bar, type Malwarebytes. M to the A to the L, W A R E. B Y T E S spells malware bytes. Touch it. Once you've located the malware bytes app, just touch it. And we go ahead and download it. This app will protect you from malware, infected apps, and unauthorized surveillance. So give it a few seconds to do its downloading. And once it's done, just open it up. Okay, now that this app is fully opened, guys, it wants us to shoot this video in portrait mode because that's how this app opens up in portrait mode. So, guys, let's all enjoy this video to the maximum. And this video will be in portrait mode from now from now to the end. So, we're gonna go. First of all, it says device. Your device has some issues. We're gonna go ahead and skip that for now. We'll get to that later. I mean, we get to, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to that soon. Scanner. Let's do what scanner under security. This is where it gives you the option to scan your device for any known security issues. So very easy on the eye, not too confusing. All you have to do is touch scan, and let's see what happens. All it's gonna do is scan your Android phone, Android device, iOS device, and let you know if there's any security issues. So guys, there's no security issues with my tablet, of course. So now that we're done with this, it's still letting us know that your device has some issues. We're going to tackle that now under security audit. Now th there's some insecure settings that it wants to change. It wants me to turn on GPS tracking, but I know why my GPS tracking is turned on. Now the reason why it's prompting me to turn off these settings, development mode and GPS tracking is, is that some apps, big companies that are surveillance they have surveillance on you through your tablet because they track your movements everywhere you go everywhere your tablet goes they think they're tracking you but that's not always the case because sometimes you're not always where your tablet is but they track the movements of the tablet where it's been where it's gone and they gather data on your android device your name your anything you type in they gather information on it so it wants to turn off gps tracking and development mode for safety reasons and that's what this app does it's supposed to protect you but I I, I kind of use the GPS tracking very often and development options I use some of the settings for development options because it helps me tweak and manipulate my Android device to my liking so I won't be turning those off but this app yeah so guys this app also has an app manager showing you your apps, apps that are currently running, and installed apps. Running, install. Running, running, install. Running, running, install. So you can go ahead and touch any app that you want to uninstall. Instant email address. And if you, touch, if you choose to install at the bottom right there, it'll uninstall it. But I have reasons for that app to stay on my tablet, so we're not going to install that. If you choose the arrow next to it, it'll give you some brief information on it. The CPU, memory, thread, services, some app info, for stop or uninstall. If the app is running and you want it to uninstall, I mean, if you want to stop it from running by force, go ahead and choose it. Force stop and it'll stop. 
otherwise app info will do what it says give you some brief information of what the app does how much memory is taken and what it's doing you can move it to your sd card from here and uninstall also player data player cache App is very, this app is very easy on the eye, not too complicated. Even a child can use it. If you touch this sort, that button over there is sort, you can sort by name if you want to. And my battery is almost done. But nonetheless, the video must go on. So we're gonna go back to scanner. And guys, we're gonna attack, see what's up with this wheel. This wheel over here is the settings wheel, and this thing next to it is the whitelist. Let's see what's up in the whitelist. The whitelist has nothing. Those are apps that you you know that are, yep, the whitelist has nothing. Then we're gonna go ahead and check the settings. Settings will just, if you check any of these settings, it'll scan at the reboot or scan after an update or you can set scheduled scans. My scheduled scan is set to daily, so the tablet would scan itself daily for any malware, spyware, any of those, um, anything that could possibly harm your tablet, I'll let you know, or remove it for you. Anyway guys, I am Wisdom. I am glad I taught you something to, I'm glad I taught you something new today. I will be making more excellent videos. Actually, I am making the most excellent videos now and always. Peace.